Hello, I am uh, Samuel Arabila. I am Director of the Graphene Center at Chalmers and the Competence Center to the Tech. Uh, and in these centers, we work actively uh, in trying to bring uh, graphene research from the lab to the marketplace. So what is graphene? So graphene is the thinnest material known to us. It's made of carbon atoms. And these carbon atoms are arranged in a honeycomb or hexagonal uh, fashion. Uh, and this type of arrangement, this symmetry of the crystal and the chemical bonding between carbon atoms give graphene very interesting and special properties. Uh, this we knew many decades ago from textbooks, but now we have confirmed uh, with experiments uh, that graphene is very, uh, it's very strong, so uh, very stiff, yet we can uh, bend it, so it's flexible. Uh, heat can flow very efficiently. Electrons can move very fast through the material in very special ways, uh, but it's also optically transparent. We can see through, most, most of the light goes through. And uh, all of this while being uh, two-dimensional. So all of these properties make graphene very exciting uh, for fundamental and practical reasons. Uh, now we have to be careful when we say uh, graphene. So, so all of these uh, properties that I mentioned uh, correspond to graphene monolayer. So nowadays um, uh, people tend to think of graphene as a family of materials. So we have to use first and last name. So we can say monolayer graphene, bilayer graphene, few layer graphene, and so on. We can also think about graphene oxides and etc. Uh, and this is important because different members of this graphene family have different properties. So when doing research and development activities, it's important to pick the right member of the family, uh, uh, which closest satisfy the needs that we, uh, uh, we are uh, targeting. Um, these different members of the graphene family uh, may come from the different way they are produced. So nowadays uh, we have methods to produce powders, uh, graphene-based powders. Uh, we can produce also films. And many efforts are uh, towards making production methods that are uh, scalable. So we can produce them by, by the ton while being cost-effective, uh, clean, but also uh, that uh, as we produce the materials, we keep most of the graphene uh, properties in the, in the end result. So now that we can buy uh, graphene materials online, one can go and find many suppliers of powders, uh, films. So it's important to check uh, the specs that the producers uh, promise. Many efforts are going towards uh, standardizing uh, materials. Uh, uh, so it's important to check uh, this when buying. So in addition to materials, one can also find products, uh, notably uh, based on composites. So we can think of running shoes, uh, rackets, bicycles, skis, uh, and all of these materials uh, are uh, capable of lasting longer. So maybe they are stiffer, maybe they are lighter, uh, and so on, because they are based on, on graphene. Uh, a lot of research is going towards developing new uh, properties, and I can tell that at Graphene Central Chalmers and to the tech, we work towards developing new batteries, uh, we work towards uh, developing thermal management applications, um, multifunctional composites, very fast electronics for 6G uh, technologies, and so on. So expect a lot of new materials coming in the next uh, few years. 